Hello! In this video, I'm going to review the process of generating a CMM program from the MBD PMI in the SOLIDWORKS DIM Expert tree. In the part that I have on the screen, you can see the MBD PMI in the window on the left in the DIM Expert tree. That same PMI is also displayed in the graphics area as annotations. The first thing that we need to do is load a probe model and make sure that we have the AB rotation angles listed that we have calibrated at the CMM so that Checkmate knows what probe positions it has to work with. Now we will generate the CMM measurements from the MBD PMI. Not only can Checkmate generate measurements from the PMI, but it also has programming automation tools to develop a complete CMM program. You can see them here in the red boxed area. Now for this video, I'm not going to turn them on to be done automatically. These automation tools are also accessible from the command ribbon and I will go through them after the measurements are created explaining their use. Let's hit the load button and create all of the measurements from the PMI. The measurements are being created, as you can see, listed on the right in the Checkmate programming browser, as well as shown in the graphics area colored yellow. You can see that if I expand a couple of these measurements, that their tolerances match exactly what is called out in the PMI. Now it is time to make this into a complete CMM program by manually using the programming automation tools. First, we create a coordinate system from our A, B, and C datums. And there it is. Now we sort for dependencies because some features may rely on other features being measured first. Next, we perform accessibility analysis that analyzes each feature to see which probe positions from my list are the best to use for each feature, if the feature can be measured at all. You can see in the programming browser that everything is green and therefore measurable, and Checkmate is telling us what probe positions should be used for each feature. Optimizing the probe path will group measurements together that use the same probe positions. This will shorten the runtime at the CMM. Then we go ahead and add probe moves and rotations based on the accessibility analysis already performed. And finally, collision detection, which looks for and fixes any areas where the probe breaks through the CAD geometry. Let's quickly watch the simulation so we can admire our handiwork. With our Checkmate CMM program all finished, it's time to create a Demus program flavored for over 60 modern CMMs. This Demus program can be loaded into the CMM software and run. Thank you for watching and have a great day.